All right, boys, how's it going? Today we are back with episode 7 of our Vancouver Canucks franchise mode. If you guys missed out some of the previous episodes, we, we, GM and assistant GM, took home the Stanley Cup for the Vancouver Canucks in our first year as general manager. Just crazy. Not only that, is we also took home the Calder Cup, the Utica, Utica Comets actually won, and then somehow we miraculously acquired the first overall pick in the 2020 draft, and we drafted Alexi Lefrenier, and he looks like a beauty. And I'll show you guys him real quick. If you guys didn't watch the last episode, I recommend you go watch it because it was pretty crazy. So we got Alexi Lefrenier. He has high elite potential. He's already 80 overall. He's gonna fit in our team right away. So. Huge props to that. Also, guys, a lot of you guys mentioned in the previous video is the reason why we got the first overall pick is because the Dallas Stars were 14th place in the in the NHL. And they somehow won the first overall pick from 14. And so obviously they were in no position where they felt like they needed to draft a first overall pick, I guess, which is why they wanted to get rid of that pick. So pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. I didn't actually catch that, so thank you guys very much for pointing that out. All right, guys, and also, I guess before I start this video, some of you guys were mentioning, go try try to use the find player or whatever this function is called and see if any players, okay, what am I on? I'm on the wrong thing. Use the find trade option and see if anyone will take upon take take on some of our bad contracts. So we'll see, we'll see if we can do that. So the first one, of course, is Louis Erickson. Will anyone take Louis Erickson? Will anyone take, okay, no trades found for Louis. Uh, what about Beagle? Oops. What about Beagle? I really doubt it. I find that where, where you're going to find those trades are some guys like Berchi or something where they have some value, but they're they're not like major pieces. Okay, no no trade for Beagle. All right. Uh, what about Cogliano? We picked him up. Okay, no trades either. And also another thing, guys, is the reason why I did end up getting that first overall pick. Well, I sent, a, I sent them back pretty good value. You levy. I think Alex Edler, Berchi, a first round pick. I did send them quite a bit of value, but I also did take on some bad contracts. And if you take on bad contracts in this game, it actually counts, it actually adds value to your side. So that is also why I was able to somehow swing that deal. Because some of you guys were like, was it was your trading was your trading on easy? But it is actually still on hard. Believe it or not. Alright, guys. And as for free agency. We're heading into our first free agency. I've gotten a lot of feedback from you guys. Some of you guys said to go find Chris Kreider. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be we're gonna be able to afford Chris Kreider. He seems a bit too expensive. However, a lot of you guys suggested trying to get Gustafson. So we can definitely try to get a Gustafson. He looks very good. Okay, let's see what his stats are like. I'm a bit concerned with getting Gustafson just because, I mean, he's left-handed. I think we prefer a right-handed defenseman. Okay, so. Defensive pairing line two, power play line, okay. Uh, very well-rounded personality, meshes with anyone in the room. Meshes well with any room. Okay, what does that mean? Okay, and also some of you guys suggested getting uh, Craig Smith. We can definitely try to see, uh, I guess evaluate that option. Except, to be honest guys, one person I think I'm pretty interested in is Joel Edmondson. And hear me out. So Joel Edmondson, he's 6'4", he's a left-handed defenseman. He only wants 2.6 million. Now that's a really good contract. He's 81 overall. He's only 27 years old. He's that good shutdown defensive defenseman. He's actually just a part of that Justin Falk trade that we just saw today. I think I'm recording this on the 24th. Because I think if we go commit to a guy like Gustafson, we're only going to be able to give him a short-term contract. And if we do get Gustafson, we won't be able to get another forward. And I really want to get another forward. So I think the best play, of, I guess our best course of action here is to get a cheaper defenseman and then sign a better forward. Or the other way around, which is getting a guy like Gustafson and then signing a cheaper, I guess, forward. And I guess if we do that, I guess actually may, that actually might make more sense because we do have left right here. We have Vasily Pot Colson coming up. And I guess we want to keep those spots open. So maybe we will go get Gustafson. That actually might be the play. All right. Gustafson, he's only 20 years old, 28. Uh, let's go for two years. Two years, $5 million. We're the, Stanley Cup def we're the Stanley Cup Championship team. I think there should be some type of incentive to come play, play with us, so hopefully he does accept that. All right, okay. And who else can we go outside? So we want a forward. 
So 5 million, that leaves us with about 4 million in cap space. So that's actually pretty good. And see, the, this is our issue, guys. Um, we can't really afford anyone now. We can go get someone like Bodker. So I think maybe Bodker could be our prime candidate here. Uh, yeah, so he wants 3 million for two years. He actually had a pretty good season last year, uh, 41 points in 83 games, so that's actually not too bad. I think if we get Bakker, he'd most likely be on our bottom six, well, most likely. Okay, fits in the following lines based on Coach Quinton Skinner's schemes. Forward line two, okay. Okay, who else do we have here? Uh, Granlin, get back Granlin. Granlin had a pretty good season, 38 points in 82 games, that's not too bad. Who else do we have? Ben Hutton, should we go get Ben Hutton? Uh, Zach Bogosian, boys, back to Zach Bogosian, the best Instagram comment star on the internet. <laughs> Alright guys, so I think I made up my mind. Just because we already have Vasily Parkolzin and now Alexi Lefren here coming up, we don't want to sign someone too intriguing, but we also don't want to we also want to sign someone who can help our, I guess, our secondary scoring. I think Mikhail Bakker is exactly that guy. He's a right-handed sniper, puts up decent production, and he only wants two years. Meaning, I think I'm going to offer him a one-year contract at 3.4 million. That leaves us with some extra cap space. We won't have any cap issues. And then we can work on signing our guys like Pedersen and Quinn Hughes and, I guess, Thatcher Demko. I also have to sign some uh, minor league players. So we'll get a bunch of guys on our roster. Maybe I'll sign just a good mix of forwards and defensemen. Alright guys, so I think we offered some pretty good contracts, shorter term, so we should have some good, decent cap flexibility. Let's see if, okay, here's a trade, uh, Michael Furland for two second round, okay, no, no, no. Get out of here. So I think we should have some pretty good cap flexibility if they do sign in order to sign our good guys. Okay, Eric Gustafson signs, nice, I was extremely happy to accept your offer, your cash was most generous, okay, cool, cool. Uh, Gustav Forsling rejected, okay. Uh, Roussel for a second round pick, and Eric Branson, yeah, right. They want to ship back Eric Franson. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, Mikhail Bonker accepted. Awesome. Awesome. We got some more minor league contracts. Looking good. All right, guys. I think we're good to start simming. See what our team looks like. Also, I might play around with, um, I guess, coaching. Because I know a lot of you guys really want to see Brock Besser and Pedersen playing together. I think it is wrong that the, our current coach just won't let them play together, basically. So we'll mess around with coaching. See if we can get some better lineups, I guess. Third round pick in Reed Boucher for a uh, third round. Okay, no, thank you. Trade alert. Savard, third and fourth round pick for a first round pick in a prospect. Wow, that's a pretty good trade. Tr another trade alert. Uh, wow, this one's pretty big. Uh, second round pick, third round pick, and raffle for Wenberg. Okay. Michael Furlan, a third round pick, and Reed Boucher for a second round pick. Okay, what the heck? No, no. These are horrible trades. Uh, Russell, second round, second round pick for... Okay, what... I, oh shoot, you know what? That is, that actually was a pretty good one. Okay, what what did I just do? Um was that Russell or was that Furland? Huge trade, Pavel Zaka for Andrew Shaw. And it's, okay, that's actually a pretty big trade. I really like how they added that feature. Again. Okay, okay. Uh Mike Furland for two seconds. Okay, no, no. I really like how they added that feature though, because then randomly we just don't see, I guess. Uh, no, thank you. We don't see, like, Sidney Crosby playing on the Arizona Coyotes, and we're like, how did that happen? That makes no sense. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, Rus okay, we don't want Gabranson back, Pittsburgh. We just don't want him. No, thank you. No, thank you. All right, guys, you know what? This actually seems like a pretty decent trade. Uh, Roussel, a second-round pick for, for, Bu for Buffalo's second-round pick and a fourth-round pick. You know what? I'm definitely going to accept this. This seems like an absolute no-brainer. Um, you know, Roussel, he's still a decent bottom six forward, but at $3 million per year for two more years, this is a no-brainer. We're not losing anything, and we're getting a fourth-round pick. So it's basically Roussel for a fourth-round pick. And, of course, that's actually a pretty good deal. I think they actually offered that earlier, but I, 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 thought, I thought it said Furland, so I said no. So, I mean, that's a pretty good trade. Justin Bailey accepted my offer. Cool, cool. All right, guys, let's go to our edit lines and see what our roster is looking. Okay, oh my gosh, Kate. Besser, Pedersen, minus chemistry, are you kidding me? This is a joke, this is a joke. Wow, okay, so JT Miller does way better there. Ah, wookie wake, dude, I think I should fire the coach. Um, 
Okay, left Lafreniere. Okay, we're gonna put a left Lafreniere up here, see what happens. Okay, that's plus. Okay, I'm guessing he's listed as a third line scorer though, so we don't really want to mess up his his uh, growth too much. I know if you do if you do put him in too high of a position, it can stunt his growth. So we'll put left Lafreniere there for now. Uh, defense, did Quinn Hughes grow? Okay, Quinn Hughes is now 82 overall. That I'd love to see that. Uh, okay, our defensive core is looking much, much better. I think we're actually going to go something like uh, Gustafson and Hughes and Stetcher and Jordy Ben. That's looking pretty good. Who's in our scratch? So, okay, Tyler Mott and Reed Boucher. Okay, we're definitely going to send down Louis Erickson, though. I don't think he really has a spot on a roster. I think I'd rather play someone like Tyler Mott. Something like, how many, how many years left does he have? Uh, two years left. Okay, okay. And what about Paul Colson? Okay, Paul Colson is now 80 overall. Okay, guys. Should I call Paul Colson? Should he be on the roster? I think so. Uh, in this game, I'm going to sim some of the preseason and then get into the regular season. Question for you guys. Should I fire my coach, hire a new coach? You know, it's it's a big risk because our current coach, he won us to stand the cup. So, I mean... I hate to see that Besser and Pedersen can't play together, but he did win us to stand the cup. So, it's not like he's the worst coach ever. You know, he did do something right. All right, guys. Oh, who's this defenseman? Who is this? I must have signed him a free agency. Bergorder. Berg, Berg de, Berg de Fur. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, guys. The team is great. How about De How about Demko? 83 overall. Awesome. Awesome. So I know Demko only went up to 81, 82 last season. So he went up to 83. That's great to see. And obviously, Pedersen is now 90 overall, like you guys saw. Horvath's still 91. And Quinn Hughes is now 82. I really like to see that. What's the stats looking like? Great overall stats. Really good offensive defenseman. Great deking. Decent shot. Good senses. Great skating. Awesome. I guess we'll play some uh, some of a chemistry too. Make sure that we're doing the right thing. How does how does that do? Okay. Stetcher and Ben play together really well. How about like this? Okay, so that's that makes a big difference. Uh, what if we do, do this? Okay, no. Okay, what's Quinn Hughes actually listed as? A top four defenseman. I might play him on the first line, because to be honest, we don't have any, you know, top two defensemen even on our team. So it might be alright to play him on the first line. Uh, okay. You know what we can also check out right now? Is uh, am I able to extend our our rookies right now? I think I actually might be able to. Okay, let's go to our contracts. Go in our contracts. Okay. Uh okay, Pedersen. Offer contract extension. Uh, okay, guys, I, I think we should do this. Before the season has started, Pedersen, I think we're going to have a good season. We can lock him down, make sure, because because the thing is, is I've, I've had it happen to me before. Pedersen only wants $10 million right now, or $6 million for six or $9.5 million, I mean, for six years. If he goes out and has a really good season, he might be asking for like twelve. So I think it would be worth our while to sign up for like, 9.75 for seven years. What, what does he want for eight years? Okay, you know what? Maybe, okay, let's just lock him down for the whole eight years. Yeah. We want Pedersen. He's he's a big part of our future, and it's a no-brainer to lock him down. What if we do like 10.25? Uh, let's, okay, let's start at 10.25 for eight years. Will he do it? Will he do it? And also, we have Quinn Hughes to resign. I think we could, we will probably be able to get Quinn Hughes at a decent contract just because he's only 82 overall. Yep. So we can lock down Quinn Hughes for a long time, uh, and I'm com I, I'm comfortable doing so. What if we do like 4.75 for eight years for Quinn Hughes? That might just be a huge deal if he ends up growing to like 82 over, or 87 overall, 88 overall. And keep in mind, guys, this may seem like a steal, but you know th there is a lot of risk. Quinn Hughes may just not grow. And I know he does have a tough time growing in this game, so I think that is a decent contract. All right, who else do we have here? Um, I don't. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Thatcher Demko. I also want to. I also want to lock down Thatcher Demko. What does he want for the long term? Okay, let's do like six years, four point seven. Well, let's do six years, five million. I think that's a great contract. Maybe okay, seven years, five million. He only wants 5.125, so maybe we could swing this deal. He'll be 31 by the end of the by the end of the deal. It's a bit risky because you know Thatcher Demko may not grow. He probably will though. How about we do like 4.85? How about that? I'm not gonna rush into making decisions, so I'll take a few days to give. Okay, cool, cool. 
All right, guys. I mean, those are really good contracts. Patterson's is obviously really pricey, but Quinn Hughes and Thatcher Demko, I really can't complain. And we're better off signing them right now before they have a really good season and they want, you know, double. It's better off to sign them before the season starts. Let's actually save a couple of games and see if we get a response. See what happens here. And I also want to get into get into a couple games of simming too. Nine game trial warranted. This is probably for left friend here, I'm guessing. Okay. What does he want? Uh Yeah, we can do I mean we can do a nine day nine game trial. Okay, what is with this glitch? <laughs> I just can't see the response. Uh Alexi will play nine games in the first fifteen of the season. Okay. Try my hardest. Okay. Cool, cool. I'm okay. No matter what, we're gonna keep left right here in the in the lineup, even if he has to play on the third line. I think he'll be fine. We can get some, we can get him some good power play minutes in, and then I'm guessing he'll be fine. His high lead potential. Thatcher Denko has accepted. That's awesome. I think we got him for 4.9 for for seven years. That's a great contract. Okay, cool, cool. Are we gonna get any responses? Quinn Hughes accepts. Wow, 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 wow. A lot. Boys, these are some great contracts. Awesome. We have all our superstars locked down. I was actually really worried we wouldn't be able to sign them all. I thought Quinn Hughes would probably want like seven, eight million, not. 4.9, I think we got him for. All right, guys. You know what? I think we're in for a dynasty. We're ready. <laughs> Eight years at 4.75. You just couldn't go wrong. Wow. Okay. And what did we get uh, Demko for again? These are some great contracts. Uh, Demko we got for 4.85 for seven years. Wow. How do you guys like those contracts? I think those are fantastic. Really happy with those. Really happy with those. All right, guys. And for the time being, I, I want to know if I should fire my coach and do something like that. I'm, I'm actually not going to do this episode. because if, if you guys think that it's not worth messing with the chemistry, then I won't do it. But if you guys do think it's worth it, then I will. I'll, I'll, I'll play around with it for sure. Okay. So 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 like this, there's no chemistry bonus. Um, It's hard to get chemistry with, with Pedersen for some reason. Like, I, don't, I don't really know what's going on. Uh, what if I do like this? Uh, no, because I don't want to take I don't I don't want to take away chemistry from Horvat. This can't. Okay, what if we do the same lines as last year? Does that is that still good? Erickson is going down. Okay, <laughs> and we're gonna call Facility Pot Colson. Uh, okay. Oh wow, guys, Jet Wu is now seventy nine overall. I didn't even notice that. That is awesome. That is, is, is he not eligible to play in the HL? He might have to go up to the NHL, honestly. Uh, how old is he now? Wow. He had a big jump. What is he? Okay, he's only 20 years old. Okay, I think one more year of seasoning for Jet Wu. And then, okay, you know what? He, had, he does have a top six role. He does have, okay, what do you guys think about Jet Wu? I'm going to leave him down for now. But I feel like one extra year of seasoning will be really good for his development. And when he does come in, he's going to be a superstar. He's only 20 years old. Keep that in mind. So it's not like he's 22, 23. I would definitely call him up if he was that old. But for the time being, he's still super young. Uh, Breeze Bowes is now 77 overall. Awesome. Great to see. Okay. All right, guys. So I think I did, I did I think, fix up the lines a bit. Uh, I think this is kind of the best chemistry I could get. Now, here's another question. Should I leave Facility Pot Colson down in the minors for one more year? Uh, just because we have two rookies now, and I, and I don't want to sacrifice one one player's opportunities. Okay. I could put Pot Colson right here. Uh, Pot, Colson, Gaudet, Furlan. They do have plus chemistry, I guess. That is definitely nice. Okay, what happens if I do something like this? What happens if I do something like this? Okay. So it looks like this is the best chemistry for the fourth line. Uh, I couldn't get any chemistry for the first line. And funny enough, once again, Horvat has way better chemistry on the second line. So I thought maybe if I, sw if I swapped Pedersen and Besser to the second line, it would help. But no, they just play better like this. And left Renier, you know... He actually fits the best on the first line. As for a defense, it's like this. If we, we can definitely call up Jet Wu. Have him rotate with like Jordy Ben or whatever. And then our power play. Okay, I was actually going to swap this around. For our power play, we're going to put Pop Colson in. Uh, okay, one sec. Put Pop Colson in. I think we're going to swap him around with JT Miller. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do this. Okay, so the first line actually has plus chemistry. We have Left Renier, Quinn Hughes, Brock Besser, Lise Pedersen, and Pedersen. It was in Bo Horvat, Pedersen twice. That is an awesome 
First line power play. Imagine if that was in real life. On second line, we have Eric Halla. I mean, okay, what if I do this? Okay, Eric Halla, Godette, Paul Colson, JT Miller, and Gustafson. Okay, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'll show you guys my penalty kill. Okay. Okay, okay. And you know what? Let's sim the... Okay, let's sim the preseason. Let's get into some simming. Uh, you can comment. I'll do best lines for now. We'll do some simming. See what we can do. See how the team sims. We'll do the preseason. And then we'll sim a short amount of games before we start next season. By the time where I, when I can get your guys' consultation. Because you guys are, of course, my assistant GM. Don't forget that. Alright, guys. Sim the, sim the preseason. We'll check the stats, though. Elias Pedersen has accepted his offer. Awesome, guys. Okay. I'm very excited about that. I was a bit worried. Okay, guys. Uh, Bank of Canucks third round pick for Buffalo's third round pick, Jay Beagle. Okay, you know what? I actually do want to keep Jay Beagle, but I think we can't pass up on getting rid of his cap. What do you guys think? Honestly, guys, I think this is a no-brainer. Jay Beagle's only 78 overall now, and we really need to strip this cap. Yeah, you know, and you know what? I'm actually going to try to get a fourth round pick. I think that's possible. Because they want to get rid of it anyways. Traders, okay, you know what? We'll go with whatever they offered me. I think this is a good trade, guys. Okay, I think this is a good trade. Yeah, we got rid of more cap, guys. I did not expect that whatsoever. Especially after we tried using the trade finder and just couldn't find anything. Uh, okay. Um, do we need to call up a centerman? Okay, who's actually on our team? Who's on our team? I know we do have some guys scratched, so we might be able to fit someone in somewhere. Um, okay. Okay, Godet. You can still man that, I guess, the third line. Okay. Who's scratched? Who's scratched? So we have Tyler Mott and Reed Boucher. Okay. Does, does Tyler Mott have decent face-offs? Is my game frozen? Okay, what's going on? Okay, there we go. Face-off 70. Okay, for the time being, we're going to put in Tyler Mott. We can definitely play around with that after. See how that goes. 70 face-offs isn't the worst thing, especially on the fourth line. What is going on, guys? Not much. Y'all wants to take Colgano's cap? I mean, I'm fine with that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds good with me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm completely okay with that. Uh, fourth round and a third round for our third round and Coglia. Okay, what's going on? Is, am I getting pranked here? I'm obviously going to accept this. Okay, Utica comments. Um, okay, invalid roster. And we're actually going to send on Reed Boucher just because he's definitely a minor league player. Okay. Boucher goes down. Okay. And in the minors, we'll do best lines. All right, guys. Oh, you know what? And before I start off, let's actually show, I'm going to show you guys what Mikey DiPietro is looking like. So I actually forgot to look at him. He's now 77 overall, which is perfect. He's 21 years old, 77. If he has a really good season in the AHL this year, develops into around 80, we might be able to ship off Markstrom in this upcoming draft and then have Demko as our starter and then DiPietro as our backup, which will be awesome for next season, though. For next season. All right, guys. Really good preseason so far. We're looking awesome. Four, five, and one. Can't complain. Okay. Guys, I can't, I can't believe we got rid of Roussel, Beagle, and Cogliano. That is insane. Okay, let's look at our preseason stats. See how the team is going. His puck goals and scoring. Uh, Guffs has hit eight points in seven games. Okay, I like to see that. That's awesome. Uh, Bo Horvat's carrying, uh, following up with a really good preseason. Uh, Pac goals in three points. That's not too bad. And I don't see Lafreniere, which is a bit concerning. I mean, three points. That's not too bad. Okay, guys. Let's get into some real games here. I'm going to sim. Uh, I, I want to say I'll sim like 10 games. We'll see how it goes. We will see how this... The, the roster is going, guys. I was a bit concerned when we trade away guys like Edler and Berchi and I... Who else did I trade away? Uh, Yo Levy, that I was trading away too many assets and that our team would just wouldn't be good enough. Uh, would you like to sign? Okay, I do want to. I do want to sign pro scouts. I do want to sign for some pro scouts. All right, boys. So I just offered some pro scouts some contracts. I I, I actually think they're pretty. I guess useful in this game, because it, it gives us more. Okay, cool, cool. It gives it gives us more info if we're gonna make a trade for another player. We can kind of see what their personality is like, which I actually like seeing, because it gives it gives us a better idea if they're gonna mesh with our players or not. All right, guys, first game of the season versus the San Jose Sharks, and we are away. What is going to happen? Okay, 1 0, Brent Burns. 2 uh, 3, Hughes and Pedersen. Attaboy, Hughes. 
Huge contracts. Adam got dead. Bo Horvat. What's going to happen? And we win in a shootout. Awesome. Both Besser and Horvat score. Cool, cool. Great way to start the season. High scoring game. Love to see it, guys. Love to see it. All right, guys. Let's save some games and we will save our home opener. Where is that? Okay, wow. Just a huge... Just a... What? Okay. <laughs> just a huge road trip at the start of the season. Okay, cool. Awesome, awesome. What can we do, guys? Are we a dynasty team? That's two in a row. Overtime loss. That's all right. We just got one point. Uh, injury, okay. Assistant coach, replace... All right, guys, 4 0 and 1 start the season. Okay, guys, what is our home opener going to look like? All right, versus the Detroit Red Wings. This is a really weird start of the season. Really weird schedule, I'm not going to lie. 1 1 Bo Horvat and Rasmussen. 1 1 still. 1 1 still. 1 1 still. Uh, Puck goals and <laughs> scores in the shootout. Added boy pods. Added boy big win. Okay, guys, let's save a couple more games and then. We're going to call it quits. I want I want some feedback from you guys, though. What should we do? Should we hire a new coach? Or should we keep the ball rolling? Like, we're already 5-0 in one start of the season. We might be a really good team. Okay, we'll, we'll just keep simming for now. We might just be a really good team. Like, I don't know if it's worth, you know, taking the risk. Oh, okay. Dang it. Adam got dead. Injury. Also, guys, should we tone down the injuries? I, th I think they're actually pretty good in this game. But, I mean, I'll, I'll let you guys make that call. Uh, okay, let's, 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 let's uh, bring up... How do you pronounce that? I don't even know. Let's bring up an actual centerman so they can actually do something. Or have some type of face-off stat, I guess. Okay, we'll bring him in. Might need to go make some trades here, guys. We might need to get some better depth here. Uh, best line in Utica. That's fine. Uh, okay, draft costs. Let's actually see what this draft cost is looking like. I'm, I'm very curious. Okay, we don't have a lot of scouting yet. Uh, this guy, 19 or 18 points his first 10 games. That guy's probably going to be good. That guy's going to be good. What about this guy? This guy's good. 14 points. I think we're going to get into some better prospects now that we're out of the year one draft. And someone else made a good suggestion last video saying that if I'm going to go deeper into the draft, I should take some guys that aren't actually registered into the game because most likely they will have better, I guess, potential. Wow, what is happening? Okay, we got a bunch of injuries. Should I turn that down, guys? We're still 7-0-1, though. Can't really complain. Okay, guys, 8-1-1 one, one start season. We got a couple injuries, so we're going to have to make some call-ups. Maybe I should call up Jet Wu because we do have some defensive injuries there. All right, guys, take a look at the team. Take a look at the team. Bo Horvats, of course, leading the team. Seven goals in 10 games. Wow. Uh, Pedersen, uh, 11 goals, 10 games. Great to see. Uh, Besser's going. JT Miller. Uh, left right here, six points. Uh, first 10 games. What about Paul Colson? Guys, I'm thinking about sending down Paul Coles, and I feel like he, he'll just be an absolute beast in the AHL, and he, he's just going to be like 83 next year. Let me know what you guys think, though. Uh, Quinn Hughes is doing a lot better. I'd love to see like 40 points out of Quinn Hughes. Good to see. Okay, how's our goaltending looking like? This is, this is obviously a short sample size, so we're going to see a lot different. Okay, I want, see, I want to see Demko get in some more games, too. So maybe we'll have to manually do that. Okay. How is our HL squad going? Might have to make some more minor league acquisitions too. Okay. And what is the actual league scoring looking like? I guess I should check that at the end of every episode. Okay. Uh, Tyler Sagan absolutely lighting it up. 12 goals in his first 11 games. 18 points. Uh, Cahoon, 16 points. Weird. Weird candidate. Okay. There you guys go. Line A. Is he still in the Winnipeg Jets? Okay. In this realm, he figured out his contract situation. All right, guys. Guess we can look at our uh, team stats. Even though I think it's too small of a sample size. So we're currently first in the Pacific Division. What about the entire league? Okay, so okay, guys, we're first place in the entire NHL. Just by one point, though. We can definitely get tied up if we... I guess if Montreal wins the next game. Um, goals for per game, we're just absolutely killing it. Um, I guess some other teams are doing a bit better. But again, short sample size. I don't, I don't think this is too useful right now, just because we don't really know what to expect. Our power play, 25%. Cool, cool. Uh, penalty kill, 75%. That should be all right. All right, guys. There we are. Should we go get a new coach? Okay, Bohorvet went to the, down to 89 overall. Interesting. 
Interesting. What should we do, boys? Should we send up our goals and should we call up Jet Wu and should we get a new coach? Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out my Twitch down below. We're going to be doing a big live stream on Saturday or Sunday. Haven't decided yet. Make sure to follow me down below, boys. I'm on my road. I'm on the road to 50 followers and I appreciate any type of support. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.